The dark and disturbing origin story for one of the most sinister comic book villains gets the standalone treatment in theaters. This is a review of the new film, Joker. My mother always tells me to smile and put on a happy face. She told me I had a purpose to bring laughter and joy to the world. Arthur Fleck is a man on the outside who seriously can't get any respect and is pushed to the end of his rope. This is the last time we'll be meeting. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. Joker is not your average comic book movie, and it's good to see DC and Warner Brothers stop trying to make a Marvel movie. Director Todd Phillips and star Joaquin Phoenix dive deep into the head of one of the most notorious, complex, and popular villains imprinted on screen. The filming is meticulous and beautiful, while Phoenix's portrayal of the man who gives Batman nightmares is riveting and, I think, honest. The soundtrack, composed by cellist Hildur Gudnadatier, was moving and felt as tragic as the Joker himself. But when it comes to the movie, and the acting, it kind of feels like we've seen it before in other films, from decades ago to more recently, and other characters played, in fact, by Phoenix himself. Full disclosure, this has been one of the hardest films for me to pin down. I'm a huge Batman fan, the comics, the movies, TV, you name it. But when tasked to do this review and discuss whether or not I liked it, it's been tough. I felt it was slow moving, that there were unnecessary storylines with no payoff. I have a problem with one of the songs featured, and the film's turning point was frustrating. At the same time, I couldn't stop watching. Phoenix's performance was mesmerizing. I was sucked into the sets. I love the ambiguity of the storyline and the offbeat way in which it's presented and the Batman tie-in was pretty good. It affected me and had me thinking about it days later, and I think that's what makes a good movie-going experience. And because of that, I give Joker four stars out of five on the Rob rating scale. You won't laugh very much, and you may question yourself when you do. I'm Rob LaFrance, and I'll see you at the concession stand.